Bill Abold has been around the Oswego Speedway for much longer than most people realize. The soon-to-be 80-year-old has been a major figure in the Abold racing family exploits since they decided to go racing. But it didn't just begin there. It was back in 1958 when Abold received his first taste of the Oswego Speedway. Bill formed a partnership with Johnny Palicki and raced at Oswego for two years in the Class B Flathead Division. But he later decided to start families and retired at the age of 24. However, retirement always means coming out of retirement, and such was the case for Bill Abel. In 1972, Bill began building snowmobiles and found great success right out of the gate. They started by capturing local Northeast championships, and over the next few years, Bill found himself building Arctic Cat factory sleds for the USSA, capturing the Eastern title as well as the World Championship in Wisconsin. He had an expertise around snowmobiles that transferred well to auto racing. Eventually, Bill went to the four-wheel racing as his sons wanted his attention turned toward them. Danny was a successful driver in winning the late model race of champions at Oswego and won at South Boston, Evans Mills, and other championships. Billy Jr. was a top-notch small block dirt driver, and he too captured championships on the dirt car circuit, as well as multiple feature wins. Supers came out of nowhere. Abald explained, Jeff West called us after he blew an engine in his car and asked Pat if he'd like to buy it. We did and ran six races in 1989. The following year, during the winter, friend Andy Graves and Pat built a Graves chassis. The second year, in a Graves car, they started winning consistently and in fact ran that car for three years. Pat was extremely successful in winning ISMA championships and Bill really didn't go to the races unless there was a special reason. He dedicated much of his life to his son, so when a grandson wants his grandfather to assist, it didn't take much persuasion. It isn't often the two grandsons are successful in the tough super modified division, but for Bill, there's not only Jeff, but David Gruel. Over the years, Bill has watched his three sons, Bill Jr., Pat, and Danny, have all sorts of success on both asphalt and dirt, and the last few years has had the joy of being involved in his grandson's efforts. Jeff is the defending Oswego International Classic Champion, while David is the current reigning Mr. Supermodified. Winning the 2016 Classic was quite special for the family, as Bill states. It was great to finally get that. You know how many years we have been around Oswego and tried to win that thing. I think Pat was second at least three times. He was just so close. Racing is a family tradition among the Abolts, but after 56 years of marriage to wife Kathy, you get the feeling there will be plenty more races for Bill and Kathy. As well as the rest of the Abolt family, they continue to give so much to auto racing, especially super modified. Congratulations to Mitchell Speedway Press, Oswego Speedway Hall of Fame inductee, Bill Abolt.